verifiable credentials, it's a kind of longer, complex sounding thing, but they're effectively uh, digital representations of um, achievements, um, claims, um, licenses, permits, um, anything at all, university degrees. They're effectively credentials, but they are um, verifiable in a sense where um, a third party can check these credentials and know with certainty who issued the credential and who they issued it to, um, which is something that is very, very powerful and of course, very, very necessary online. So um, when we move from physical credentials, which are, are good when we were working in a sense of, um, you know, you were going for a job interview, you would potentially take a physical copy of your um, achievements, passport, whatever it is to the actual meeting itself and, and you would be able to present them at that time. Um, and of course, you know, things have very rapidly moved online um, and now we're needing um, credentials that are not only highly portable um, and very quick to transfer, obviously in a digital format, but the problem that that creates is, is forgeries and, and tampering. Um, so how do you know with a digital um, PDF document, for example, that it hasn't just been uh, someone's gone into Photoshop and just changed all either the name or the photo or the credential or the achievement or the license itself. Um, so when we move online, um, it definitely it, it ups the ante and increases the need for um, credentials that can be um, verified. And so that's what verifiable credentials are.